Okay, so the next group of glacial landforms we're going to look at are called lateral moraines and medial moraines. They sound kind of similar because they are kind of similar. Um, so I'm going to take our glacier, which I have placed sediments in here. One of the things that you'll notice about lateral moraines and medial moraines, uh, they are characterized by their uh, laser straight appearance, or sometimes they'll be very gently curved, kind of following the lay of the land. Um, they're very, very straight and they're oriented parallel with the flow of the glacier. Um, and so we'll let this melt, recede away, uh, and, and see what these lateral and medial moraines look like. And I'll talk to you about how they form in glaciers. Okay, so now that our glacier has melted away, the landforms that are left behind here are called lateral moraines and medial moraines. Now, unlike terminal moraines and recessional moraines, lateral and medial moraines are oriented parallel with the flow of the glacier. So if you spot this type of moraine, you can actually determine the direction that the glacier was flowing. So one of the things that I find really interesting about this type of moraine is that every medial moraine was once a lateral moraine. So as a glacier is flowing down uh, the glacial valley, it's rubbing against the edges. So it's generating a lot of friction. And that friction erodes and carves away the edges of the valley. And so along the very margins of the glacier, you get a, a lot of uh, sediment deposited. And so the, the margins or edges of a glacier tend to accumulate a lot of sediment. And it's along these margins, these edges, that the glacier forms lateral moraines. Lateral means against the side or the edge. So these are lateral moraines. Now, as glaciers are flowing down sort of mountain valleys, they act a bit like rivers in that, um, you know, you might have a glacier flowing and then uh, a, a tributary glacier will kind of join it from the side. Just like how a river has a main river and then tributaries that, that come in kind of like branches that sort of, um, you know, feed that river from the side. The same thing happens with glaciers. So when two glaciers are, you know, sort of flowing down a valley, almost like rivers of, of snow or ice, um, each of those glaciers has got lateral moraines as long as they're rubbing against the edges of the valley. And where those two glaciers meet up or join, those two lateral moraines join together. So these streams of debris that are being formed along the margins of the glacier come together and meet at the middle of a new glacier that's been formed by those two coming together. And that is what a medial moraine is. It's when two lateral moraines join together in the middle of a bigger glacier, and that's why every medial moraine was at one time a lateral moraine. You can kind of infer the relative age of the debris from where it's located in the glacier. So the lateral moraines, these, these uh, streams of debris on the very edges of the glacier, are probably youngest or newest because they are currently eroding the edges of that glacial valley. But the medial moraines, more toward the middle of the glacier, remember those were formed upstream. Those were formed when multiple glaciers from other tributaries kind of joined up with this glacier and their lateral moraines joined and turned into these medial moraines. So what that implies is that the medial moraines of a glacier are older than its lateral moraines. And actually, the closer to the middle of the glacier that you get, those medial moraines are probably relatively older and older. So in this particular example that I've set up, there are two lateral moraines. These moraines are current. Um, they're actually being formed right now along the edges of this glacial valley. They're fresh debris. And you also see in the middle these two medial moraines. These two medial moraines are older. They joined up with this glacier farther upstream because they used to be lateral moraines from previous glaciers. So the way that this particular uh, glacier is set up implies that there were three glaciers that have joined together. So the number of medial moraines in a glacier, you can actually count them and figure out how many branches or how many tributaries of glaciers were fed into that original glacier to get you your, your glacier that you're looking at downstream. Like terminal moraines and recessional moraines, lateral and medial moraines are made out of glacial till, uh, debris uh, that was carved away from the, the area. This material has been entrained in the glacier uh, as it flows along. And so that's lateral and medial moraines.